Hello and welcome to our review of the Space Base Command Station from AEG. So the Space Base Command Station is the second expansion for Space Base, which features new content designed by John D. Clare, the original designer of Space Base, and features artwork by Chris Aubin and Chris Walton. This expansion was released in 2019 by Aldrich Entertainment Group, better known as AEG. This big box has an MSRP of 49, sorry, 44.99, which should be a good indication you're getting more than just a new box. Though so figuring out why you're paying that price has proven more difficult than you might expect. So we're here to help you out. So the command station expansion from Space Base is advertised as, and this is right from AEG's website, the big box to hold everything, which is only one of the things it provides. In addition to a storage box that will hold Space Base, Shy Pluto, any of the promos currently released, and room for future expansions, you also get all of the stuff needed to play with two more players, including player boards, tracking cubes, and two sets of starting ship cards. But wait, there's more. With the box and higher player count, you also get 14 new pre-deployed ship cards, two per player. These are used when playing six and seven player games. But that's not all. You also get seven pairs of D6 dice, a set in each of the player colors, and 30 extra charge cubes. Next, we have something that is honestly not even listed on AEG's website, or the product page that lists the contents. Card sleeves for all of your space base cards. Finally, there's a rule book, which is notable. The great thing about this rule book in the command station is that it includes all of the existing rules for space base in one place. You get the base rules a lot, as well as the rules for Shy Pluto kind of integrated together into one book. Now to take a look at all this stuff, check out our space base command station unboxing video on YouTube. Now, overall, the component quality is as good as you would expect, and most importantly, perfectly matches the quality of the original game. Now, my only complaint here, and it's a very minor one, is that the green and teal dice are far too close in color. And actually, there's a chance my copy may have gotten three green and one teal, but I'm not even sure because they're that close. We actually sat these dice on top of a big LED studio light, and only then... Could you actually see the difference mm -hmm. on the table in normal overhead lighting? They are the same. Now, sorry, I do actually have one more campaign. I, and, and this one's significant. Nowhere in this box is anything to show you how to use it and how to put stuff away. I would have liked something showing me what they expect you to put where. This is really frustrating, and judging by the number of threads on Board Game Geek <laughs> asking how other people have organized their game, we're not alone. And I never actually found an official answer from AEG, so I don't even know if there's one out there. So, just how useful are these new things added to Space Base by Command Station? Is everyone who owns Space Base going to want to pick this up? Well, let's start with the bigger box and the insert. What, what it's selling you on the cover. As noted above, the biggest complaint is the lack of instructions on what goes where. Honestly, every time I put this game away, things end up in different spots. Like, I just kind of fit them where they fit. I would have definitely appreciated some direction as to what goes where. Now, that said, the new box and insert does exactly what it's supposed to do. It does fit everything, and there seems to be plenty of room left for at least one, if not more, future expansions. They do claim all future expansions, though if the game remains popular long enough, I could see them having to retract that unless they already have a roadmap with a hard ending for the game. Yeah, there's other games out there by other companies, <clears throat> Dominion, that have claimed that they were done, that have still kept putting out content. So I'm never going to say never on that one. Now, what I do want to call out about this insert it is that this is a pretty standard plastic box insert you would get with a traditional board game or with some toys or packaging material this is is your thin one piece molded piece of plastic vacuum and vacuum, vacuum seal, form. whatever vacuum form that's the word i was looking for what you're not getting here is you know a deluxe game trays insert with individual storage containers for specific components with uh inlaid graphics to show you what goes where and stuff that you can just pull out of the box and put right onto the table to play while this insert is 
functional as far as storing everything and it does let you fit everything in a box it doesn't actually do anything to improve the game it doesn't speed up or really slow down or affect tear down or setup it's just a holder which is fair and nice but some people are likely going to still be seeking out third-party solutions mm -hmm. and those are already out there on etsy for purchase as well as stl files to print yourself Next, we have the stuff for playing with six or seven players. Uh, this includes new player boards, starting cubes, and starter cards. They all match the quality of the original and come in two new colors. Plus, they have the added bonus of giving you more colors to pick from when you're not playing with a full player count, which actually is a thing. This is just a great addition. More people, while they do extend the game, makes for more space base, and that's not a bad thing. Now, when you do play with six or seven players, there are rule changes, which I do want to highlight. With six or seven players, everyone's going to get a pair of the new pre-deployed monitor relay craft cards. These go in your seven and eight slot, but these are pre-deployed. So it means they're tucked, right? They're flipped and tucked with the red ability showing. And actually, like, so you don't mess it up. They don't even have the blue ability. So it's not that they replace your seven, eight card. You still have your seven, eight starter. These are on the red side. Now, both cards have the same ability and they require three charge cubes to use. They let you either roll the bonus dice, which is you get to roll two dice and you get whatever you rolled and that no one else is affected by them. Or you get to draw two ship cards from any deck. So one, two or three, and then purchase up to one of those cards drawn. Now, how these cards actually affect play is to let players generate extra resources through the bonus dice or use up resources they've accumulated before their turn. Because with six or seven players, it's pretty common to end up with a lot of credits between your turns because six or five other players are going before you get to go. And the way space space works is you tend to generate stuff on everyone's turn. So it's really nice to have a way to spend them before it gets to you. Plus, it gives you that extra buy because on your turn, you're only allowed to buy one card. So this lets you uh, before your turn comes around to possibly buy another one. And I've got to say. The biggest surprise in this box, well, no, the biggest surprise was some of the stuff that was in it. I didn't know was in it. The biggest surprise mechanically, the biggest change to the game was this. I was really surprised by how much this impacted the game. It was just more than we expected. Like, oh, I've got a seven and eight. And anyone that knows 2D6s knows that's pretty much the peak of the bell curve on a 2D6. So it's not like they don't come up often. Um, and I also like the fact that they do what Space Base does. They do the thing that Space Base is known for, is it gives you something to pay attention to, to focus on and think about on other players' turns. It keeps you engaged when it's not your turn, which is the best part of Space Base. Indeed, even as the game length, length extends with additional players, you're still doing something every turn. How much you can do also depends on what expansions you have, of course. Yes. Next, we have the dice. I Honestly, I wouldn't have thought of it. Having dice for every player is awesome. The biggest thing is the recommendation in the rule book that you leave your dice face up after you've rolled them. For one, this helps with the what'd you roll again problem, as well as giving players a chance to leave the table for a bio break or some other reason or to go make a coffee. Then they can come back and quickly see what numbers were rolled while they were gone. That is fantastic. Now, the only drawback we found with everyone having their own dice is you miss the very clear, now it's your turn, indicator of passing the dice because normally in the original game once you were done your turn you pass the dice and it was very clear okay i'm done you go you do lose that now this is something that i honestly had no clue i had no idea that space base command station was going to give me more dice yeah and i think the benefit of leaving your dice up far outweighs the next turn handoff uh yeah. the fact that the game doesn't grind to a halt when someone goes for a bio break or for any reason is really huge, especially yeah. with high player counts. Because if you've got seven people, you would have previously had to stop dead if someone left the table. Because if you just kept going, that player would have to, you'd have to write down a list. Yeah, I was going to say, the this, you know, even if you didn't stop, it's a matter of what'd you roll? Okay, what'd you roll? Yeah. Oh, did I have, wait, I rolled a seven. Yeah, but what two numbers? Was it a four and a three or a two and a five? Oh, I don't remember. Yeah, exactly. All that's gone. Exactly. Uh, extra charge cubes, they're extra charge cubes. I'll admit we never ran out with the originals. Maybe with six or seven players, we might have run out. But you know what? It's nice not to worry about it. You got higher player count, more cubes. Yay, more cubes. 
I guess this sort of thing should just be a given when you're adding more players, you add more of the things they need. Yep. Next are the sleeves. This is the one thing that comes in the box no one seems to know about. I think the only reason people do know about this is like Instagram and Twitter and people sharing pictures of their sleeve cards. I am sure there's probably someone out there right now who's listening to us who was like, wait, you said sleeves? It comes with sleeves? I have no idea why the sleeves you get in this box aren't mentioned anywhere. They're not on the contents. They're not on AEG's website. Now, these sleeves fit the Space Base cards, right? Space Base cards are funky. It's like a card cut in half and not in the Hobbit size way. And they sl slot, I don't know, whatever, sleeve really nicely. Um, they, they're nice and thick. They're I don't know what mill they are or anything like that for fans of that, but they're nice, thick cards and very tight. Uh, now, personally, I'm not a fan of sleeving my cards. I did try sleeving some of the cards just to check it out and see how slippery they are. I hate shuffling sleeved cards, and I find sleeved card stacks tend to slide. Uh, plus, specifically, when I play Space Base, I like to use a Lazy Susan. Lazy Susan with slippery stacks is not good. Um, sleeve stack your cards slide, and these Space Base cards are no exception. They're, they're, they're not tactile. They, they, they become slippery. Plus, the added thickness of the sleeves make the card stacks high. Like the one deck was here, and now it's, you know, not twice as high, but it's up there. Yep. And I get into the high, the taller the stack, the more chance things are going to slide and fall. Now, for those of you who like sleeves, you get sleeves, lots of them. Yeah, I have to say, I too am a heathen that doesn't sleeve, but sleeves aren't cheap. And of course, the half width size of space based cards make them a bit more unique. So it's nice to get all of your sleeves in one place for those that do use them. Now, up last, we have the new rule book, which is an end, something I didn't expect from the book that I really appreciate. Now, what's interesting is this isn't just like the two original rule books matched together. This is a simplified order book that just has the rules you need to play, including Shy Pluto. There's no background. There's no backstory. One of the things we talked about when we reviewed Space Base was the AEG started off as an RPG company. You could see it. Like, there's all this backstory and all the different ship types and all that. You're not going to find any of this. You're even going to find less art than the original rule book. This is all functional. This is all rules, no fluff, which honestly is great for a rule refresher, for those who don't remember the original game, and for referencing while playing. Though it will be interesting to see what happens when the further extensions uh, expansions are added, as this rule book will no longer be the full rule set. Yeah, that's true. If they do add some, maybe then later expansions will come with a new replacement rule book. Like I'm actually at the point now where I can toss out my original rule book because I've got this one. Overall, I was personally like really surprised. I, I was surprised by the amount of different stuff you get with the space based command station. Like, I originally thought it was just a box. Like, when I started doing research, I'm like, ah, it's a big box. Do I need a big box? And then I learned you get to play with more people. I'm like, oh, that's cool. You get to play with more people. Then I heard there were some special cards in there. And at that point, I'm like, all right, I want it. I didn't even know what the cards are for. I just knew there were more cards. I'm like, more cards? Oh, I'll get it. Yeah, it's only like 14 two per player, but two new cards is new cards. That's awesome. I had no clue there was dice, card sleeves, and a better rule reference. And I got to say, all of that is a very pleasant surprise. Again, we knew there had to be a reason for the price, and it was nice to see it was justified in the end. If you own Space Base and Sky Pluto, you're going to want to pick this up if you haven't already. Now, if you're planning on picking up the Mysteries of Terra Proxima, that's the next expansion, you're probably going to want this even more because it's going to fit. With this expansion, not only do you get a big box to store all your stuff, you get higher player count, more dice, more referenceable rulebook, and sleeves for all your cards. Yeah, really not a single complaint, unless maybe you already yeah. sleeved all your cards previously. Yeah, I can definitely see that. If you've already got sleeve cards, now I will say the most popular brand, which I'm not going to call out, they are thinner and do not hold the cards as tight as the ones that were included in this. Um, I had the name somewhere earlier in the chat, and I think we skipped over it. Um, so, no, someone in the chat asked if they were as slippery as, and I missed it. So I do apologize for not having the name of that company, but there was a popular company that did space base cards. These are supposedly tighter and thinner. Or sorry, thicker, thicker. These are thicker. 
Now, where I'm not sure, and I have to leave it up to you, is for people who own Space Base but not Shy Pluto. I'm not sure if the price of this box can be justified unless you do usually play with six or seven players and you're going to get use out of those additional player boards. While there's more than you'd expect in this box, the main purpose of this expansion is a better storage solution. And if you don't have the expansion, you don't need that. Everything will fix in your core box. And for some, it may not be the storage solution you need. Though I must point out that many, if not all, of the third-party modular solutions still use the command station box size in order to yeah. fit everything. Yeah, you're not going to find Etsy shops where you get the fit shy Pluto in the base box with the proper insert. I, do, I don't think that's actually possible. Now, I, I have to say this because I think it's important, but if you don't enjoy Space Base, you don't need this. I realize that seems self-explanatory, but you now and then board game expansions come out that fix a base game in a way that it'll become more attractive to a larger group of gamers. Uh, the Herb Witches for Quacks of Quedlinburg we talked about last week is a good example. That might have won over people who didn't like the original. You're not going to find that here. This isn't one of those expansions. This is for a box for fans of Space Base, especially those people who plan on collecting all the expansion content. Being able to play two more players isn't going to make the game better, and those six, seven cards are only used then. Well, that's it for our review of the Command Station expansion for Space Base. Did you know this one came with sleeves? You wouldn't be the only one who didn't. <laughs> Now, before we go, I do want to invite you to check out my written review of this expansion over at tabletopbellhop.com. 